Good morning, kindergarten. This is Mrs. Cancer. Let's get ready for another kindergarten story. Please make sure you have a pencil and a piece of paper so you can problem solve this number story right alongside me. Are you ready to get going? Let's go, kindergarten. Kindergarten, during today's lesson, we are going to cross out objects to find out how many are left. Kindergarten, do you like to visit the pet store? So do I. But when I visit the pet store, my favorite section to go into is where the fish are. The other day, I was at the pet store and I went over to visit the fish fish. There were 15 beautiful fish in the tank. And then a customer came along and wanted to buy six of the fish that were in the tank. I want to know how many fish were left after the customer took his six fish. Can you help me problem solve this number story? Kindergarten, let's reread the story and listen for important information that will help us to draw our number story. Are you ready? Read along with me. There were 15 fish in the tank at the pet store. A customer came in and bought six fish. How many fish are left in the tank? Kindergarten, what important numbers did you hear in our number story? That's right. We heard the numbers 15 and 6. 15 represents the total number of fish there were in the tank. 6 represents the number of fish that the customer came in and bought. Now remember, kindergarten, we want to find out how many fish are left. Kindergarten, I think we have enough information to start our drawing. How many fish are we going to draw on our paper? That's right, kindergarten, kiss your brain. We always start with the biggest number first. Our big number is the number 15. So this is an opportunity for you to get out your pencil and your piece of paper, kindergarten, and draw 15 fish in an organized group. Ready? Go. Kindergarten. Did you draw a five group of 15 on your page? Nice job. We draw a five group so that we can keep our work organized and so we can see our parts easily. Now remember, a five group of 15 has 10 and five more to make 15 all together. Let's check to make sure we have 15 fish. Are you ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. But if I want to be super duper fast, kindergarten, I'm going to remember that 5 plus 5 makes 10. So I'm going to say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We started with 15 fish in the tank. 15 is our total. So that's going in the hole. We started with 15 fish. 
But then something happened in this story. What happened, kindergarten? That's right. A customer came in and took six fish out of the tank. That means we are, that's right, kindergarten, we're taking away or we're, the big word is subtracting. We're going to subtract or take away six fish from our 15 fish. How do we do that though, kindergarten? Can you show me in your drawing? Take this opportunity and show me how we take away six from 15 in our drawing, kindergarten. Ready, go. Kindergarten, remember, we started with 15 fish and then something happened in our story. What happened? That's right, a customer came in and bought six fish. That means we need to show in our drawing that we're taking away or subtracting six fish. How do we do that? You got it. We used cross-offs. How many are we crossing off, kindergarten? That's right. We're crossing off six fish. So in my number bond, I have six, and I even have a cross-off mark so that everybody recognizes that I crossed off how many fish, kindergarten? That's right, six. Here, count with me. I wanted to cross off in an organized way so that I can see my parts clearly. So I started at the bottom crossing off until I crossed off six. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is a part. 15 is the whole. We have to find out how many fish are left. Do you think you know, kindergarten? Can you look at the picture and see another number part? Kindergarten. Our learning target said that we were going to practice crossing out objects to find out how many are left. If we had 15 fish all together and we crossed out six, kindergarten, how many fish are still left in the tank? That's right, we need to count the fish that are not crossed out. Count with me. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine fish left in the tank. Fifteen fish. Take away six leaves nine fish left. Do you think you can do an equation next? Remember, an equation is a number sentence. Our number sentence should match our number bond, kindergarten. Go ahead and try to write a subtraction equation for this number story. Ready, go. Kindergarten, did you write an equation that matches your number bond? The same numbers that are in your number bond should be in your equation. We started with 15 fish. We took away six fish. 
after we took away six fish, we counted nine fish that were left. 15 take away six equals nine. Kindergarten, you did a great job crossing out objects to find what was left. I can't wait to do more work with you next week. Remember to have some fun in the sun, and I'll see you next week. Have a good day.